All right. Coming up on the last uh, 10 seconds of the boil here. We've got the uh, Citra Hops, the one and only hop going in here. One ounce, 12.2 alpha acids. Has kind of a yeah, bit of a floral citrus note, but let's go ahead, dump those in. I have the wort chiller in here already. It's not running. It's just uh, been in there for the past 20 minutes sanitizing. And we're at the end of the boil. As you can see, that kind of does raise up the uh, foam there, but we are gonna be shutting this off. So that will drop back down. And now there is a ton of like citrus, citrus aromas. It started smelling a lot like uh, just with the uh, malt itself. Um, gonna stir this up, splash it around a little bit, get some of the hop actually mixed in there. Um, yeah, it started get, gaining a little bit of a darker, like, bread crust, um, almost going into, like, a caramel-type uh, aroma just with the malt itself and the boil. So you get a nice uh, nice boil going, and it kind of caramelizes a little bit. Um, okay. Whoop, throw some out there for the uh, spirits. But what I'm going to do is when I start this wort chiller up, so I got the tube in the bucket there, so it's going to uh, get some of the the hot water that's going to flow through because it's going to the cold water is going to flow through the uh, coil here, chill down the the wort itself, and I will collect the hot water in the bucket, and it will help with cleaning. And I'll pull that tube out once it fills up. And then when I'm done with chilling, I can take the chiller and toss it into that, what will still be kind of at least warm water at that point. Um, and that, help, that will help clean off the uh, resin that's going to build up around the uh, top here with all the, the hop resin and everything. And the protein material and all that stuff. So, anyway... Yeah, it's got like a citrusy type smell there from the citra hops. Um, we'll see what it comes out to when it's uh, a finished product, but smells decent anyways. Let's go ahead and chill this. Start chilling this anyways. So I just hooked up to my garden hose. Turn it on. You'll start to notice this. Temperature here drop. It will start to drop pretty quickly at first, but once it gets to like, I don't know, 110 or so, it slows way down. So, still have to uh, work on getting uh, the wort chiller that Bear Man sent. I uh, have to get it like a pump and everything and try to figure out figure out that So versus using the uh, immersion chiller. Use the, uh, the counter flow. But, Yep, so there we go. It's starting to drop. It's kind of been warm out, very warm out for quite a while here, so the water itself outside is, uh, isn't is the coldest either. So try our best to get this down to maybe about 70 degrees if I can. And then that's where I'll bring it in and uh, run it off into the carboy. And get this uh get this all wrapped up